okay, we are at Marlow Bistro. It's on, I think, 110th and Amsterdam Avenue. We're very, very high up. This is Seinfeld territory. This is near Harlem, Morningside Heights, steep near Columbia. I've got a weird little bun. I've never seen this bun before. It's a Mediterranean place, so I'd assume it's something like PD. Obviously, it's not a pita, but same texture, same feeling of it. It's kind of cold. I actually like the idea of a cold bun. I got a little coleslaw on it, and then the burger itself is a special blend of onion cheese and bacon, and there's roasted pepper spread on the bottom. So that sounds great. There's a little mayo. On, there's mayo on the side, so I'm gonna throw some mayo on it, but there's also slaw on the top bun, so I don't really know where I'm supposed to put the mayo. I guess I'll just squiggle a few right on top of the actual bun. I will say these fries caught me out, but I'm gonna get to that later, obviously. So let's go. It's definitely the most unique burger I've had, probably. Like, it's just weird. A red pepper spread, a crazy coleslaw, this blend of onion, cheese, bacon. Really, most of it you're getting is the roasted pepper spread, which is, if you like roasted peppers, obviously you're gonna love that. So I'm gonna say 3.9 balls on the burger. Now, to the beer. We are in Harlem. I think we're near Harlem, Morningside Heights, so we're close to Harlem. Local beer on tap was Harlem Blue, 6058, went with that. Got a huge, tall mug. Never really seen a mug this tall with like not the handle going down. So it's like handles on half and then you just got a free area on the bottom. Now, I will say the, the tall mug is kind of intimidating. You just like you're staring, you're staring at how big it is, you're staring at how tall it is when you're taking a sip. It's a little creepy. I don't like that. The beer itself, um, it's definitely a little light. I'm getting a little I'm not gonna say bitter, but it's not like the best taste in the back of my throat right now. I'm gonna say it's 2.6 on the Harlem Blue 1658. Really, definitely not the worst beer. It's not gag worthy or anything, but just didn't really knock the socks off. Now to the fries. These are like legitimate wedges. Like these all look like little tiny baby potatoes. I don't know if I should use my hands. I don't think I'm gonna. I feel like these fries look too nice to use my hands. So we're just gonna. Yeah, like that's a nice authentic roasted potato. I kind of feel like an asshole for even putting ketchup on it. I'd rather a top fry than this, but it's good in its own right. So I'm gonna say a 3.6 balls on the fries. Now, finally the ambiance. It's a very, very like, I'm not gonna say classy, but very trendy, very hip. I think it's newer, newer like revitalized restaurant. It's very bright. We've got a lot of plants, working with a lot of plants. When your food does not have to travel thousands of miles to get to your plate or in your glass. So. They're going local. I like that. I enjoy that. I think it's cool. 4.2 balls for the ambiance. Seems like a nice, like, 6 o'clock dinner spot. Definitely dig it. Marlowe Bistro. Very unique shit. Not going to find this stuff anywhere else. I will say that.